This episode, I'm gonna go over thermal for the homestead and uh, some good reasons why you should have thermal. Uh, different types of thermal, I mean, for the budget. I mean, because there's a, you know, big price range in there, but it's one of those items that everybody should at least have in the homestead, I think. It's a good thing to have nowadays. Uh, and you may want to reconsider, uh, sell some other things, get rid of some extra guns, whatever, just to, to have thermal. It's a, it really is a game changer. First type of thermal I will go over, I will say a budget thermal. This is the Fleur, it's just a, I think it's called the Scout, like the TL or something, or TK. It, it's, you can get them for less than $500. Uh, these are great, you can just put it around your neck and you hear something in the dark, put it in and, and you will see it. Uh, I own night vision and night vision you can move and you can see in the dark. You know, you can drive your ATV with blacked out headlights walk around the property in the dark, but there could literally be something right in front of you, an animal, and, and you would not even see it. Take your thermal, put it on, and you will see, it's unbelievable what you'll see, the, the amount of animals. I mean, we're, we're very rural. Um, coyotes get on the property, whatever. I take the night vision. 99% of the time, I have a hard time finding them. I take the thermal out, bingo. I, I pinpoint them out right away. Uh, and for security, I mean, thermal's just, the way to go. And this, I think, you know, $500, you can literally scout out the area really good, see where something is, and as long as it's a animal or whatever, then, then use the light on your, on your gun. Um, in a defensive situation, uh, as long as it's not a two-way <laughs> uh, theater, you could use this to spot something, then use your light, a flashlight, something to identify your target, or whatever works in your area, or just, you know, if it's a man, and you're in very rural property where there should be nobody on your property, then, you know, call the police. But uh, this, it's a game changer. It, it really is. Next thing I want to talk about is the, uh, I will say, budget, still budget, uh, is the Hogster. This this is a Hogster, but like a, a weapon-mounted uh, night, or say night vision, but it's a thermal scope. Uh, this one... When I got it, it was right around two thousand dollars, and it was a lot of money. To, but it's unbelievable. It is phenomenal. I mean, it's got you can store different profiles for different weapons when you sight it in. So you can just quick release mount, take it off, use it as a handheld. The other one that I showed you, the handheld Fleur, the resolution on this thing just blows it away. I mean, it is phenomenal. And from here, the sky is the limit. You can just spend 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 and get way more so it is just like i said phenomenal um i'm gonna actually show you guys looking through the camera if it works right how it looks when you see you know what what you see through the thermal so it, it's pretty you can hear some goats we can use it we can i'll detach this so we can go show you the difference between a budget 500 dollar versus a two thousand dollar and just remember as um the price goes up, the resolution gets better, and also they, they have, it's not like night vision where it's it's just what you see is what you get. These have like a refresh rate, so every once in a while the screen will freeze and then it'll come back on again. And the more you pay, the quicker that refresh rate is, because sometimes these will, like if you're scanning and you're just going like this, sometimes it'll just freeze, and it's almost like those old wireless uh, cameras, you know, so, uh, yeah, so. But like I said, this is just, and this is not a Ruger 1022. This is probably my most used farm gun right now. I hear a coyote, I hear, you know, whatever, critters in the dark, uh, people on the property. I'll, I'll grab this. I mean, this this just just a good farm gun, so. I'm going to talk loud because this is, uh, my regular microphone is not working, but here's some goats. I mean, you can see them kind of playing, fighting, whatever. So... At least this is working a lot better. This is the more expensive night vision. I'm gonna try again and see if I can use the cheaper one. Give you the same advantage point from right here. This is the cheaper one. I mean, you could see they're moving around. It's just nowhere near the resolution. I I can't. They, I really find this cheaper one is your eye has to be almost onto it. It's so hard. But I mean, you could see. There we go. There we go. I mean, it's, you can see movement. It's just nowhere near as good. 
as you can see right now, this is the uh, better one, hand holding. I mean, my bad camera skills do not do it justice. I mean, this thing's just just phenomenal. And even if you quick detach it and just use it as a, a sight, I mean, it's it's crazy. Like I'm looking back there, I can see chickens. You know, the beehives are hot. I mean, it's just looking through the woods, I can see birds. I mean, I can just see ch chipmunks. I mean, it's, it's just crazy how how good it works. Um, but and then just imagine that at night. You know, I'm seeing things in the daytime that are hard to see. Um, at the nighttime, it's 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 uh, <laughs> you, you become a wizard in, in the in the dark. I mean, it's uh, you know you think somebody with night vision is is uh, a wizard in the dark. This this is game changing. I mean, it, it is just unbelievable. Like I no other way to describe it. And like I said, uh, don't use my videos as a to look at the view the thermal. But I mean, because it it's unbelievable. Like I said, when when you see it and actually see it in action. Okay, here is a video of chicken coop. You can see the chickens. Pretty good. Like I said, sorry about my crappy cameras. Now I'm gonna actually, I've got some of that military anti-thermal camo netting. Just curiosity to see how good it works. I'm gonna put it over the chicken coop and try this once again. Okay. Roughly in the same spot with the camo netting. Uh, unfortunately, it does nothing. You can see the, uh, the chickens in there. So I was really hoping this camo netting would have done something. So I will try another test. I'm going to talk loud here, but this is that camo netting. Uh, supposedly, who knows, maybe I got crappy camo netting, but I was told it was anti-thermal camo netting. Uh, thankfully, it was super cheap because it does not work. I'll talk loud again because I don't have my good mic on. Uh, this is the camo netting I got. This is what it came in. I don't know. It says uh, repair kit for camouflage, woodland radar scattering. Okay, so it's radar scattering, not thermal scattering. Uh, there's my problem. So if you have some of this camo netting, this is the patches for it. It's the same material, just smaller pieces. I got a bunch of them. Uh, they do not work for thermal. Uh, you can see my chickens right through it. And chickens are not as warm as people. So there you have it.